All right, we're going to now find the regression equation. Uh, now we're going to be modeling, uh, we're going to be using the median square feet is our uh, predictor, and we have median listing price, that's our response. So, uh, in other words, our, our x variable is square feet, y variable is the listing price. So what I'm going to do is I want to find the, um, the, the values that are going to go into my y hat equals b0, that's the intercept, plus b1 times x. All right, so to find the slope, easiest way to do it is actually to use the slope function equals slope, going to select my y values, median listing price values, comma, x values, the median square feet, and that gives me a slope. Another way to do this is using the um, lin est function. I'm going to select my listing prices for the y values and my median square feet for the x values and hit enter. This is going to give me the slope and the intercept. See that? Isn't that nice? Excel has the same functionality. However, in Excel, it's an array function and it's more tricky to use. So lin est. Uh, the, now, the intercept can be found using the intercept function done in the same way. I'm going to select my y values, comma, my x values. Oops, start from the bottom. And there we go. Last way I can do it is using the linear regression from the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. And this is, again, under add-ons. You should be able to open it from here. If you don't have it already installed, you can easily get it. Click Get Add-on, search for Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. When you open it, it's going to open a little window over on the right. I'm going to go down to Linear Regression. Uh, my input range is my median listing prices. My Input ranges for the Y's is my median square feet, and I'm going to select to have the outputs in this cell I'm selecting, which is H15. I don't need any of this other stuff. I'm just interested. I don't even need confidence intervals. I'm just going to get the, uh, I'm really just interested in the slope and the intercepts. All right, as you can see, um, I, I get down here the intercept and the slope. Same values, of course, there's no difference. All right, now what I'm going to do is make a prediction. Let's, um, if X was, let's say, uh, 1500, I'm going to predict Y hat. Now this is gonna be found by taking the intercept plus the slope times 1500. That's gonna calculate my prediction. That would be, based on this data, the predicted uh, predicted house listing price for a house of size 1,500 square feet. And there we go.